Hello, all my fat adapted friends. I want to put a little video together that would explain how to use MyFitnessPal. And I thought, well, since I'm doing that, let's also include the keto calculator since they both work together so well. So if you go over here to Keto Calculator, this is a super easy and very helpful application that runs inside of a browser where you just put in your information. Pretty self-explanatory. And then when you are done, it's going to give you uh, your diet outlook for calories, right? As you can see, I'm, I'm around 75% to 80% fat and around 15% protein and 5 to 7% carbs, right? And this calculator is super helpful. If you haven't seen it before, you're really going to like it. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a link there. One says your custom goals and the other one says MFP. And you might wonder... If MFP stands for, I don't know, my fat potential, but it doesn't. It stands for my fitness pal. And the custom goals also are in my fitness pal. So if you click on that link, it's going to take you to my fitness pal. And in my fitness pal, um, you'll have to register your first time. So I'm just going to create a fake account and log in with it. Okay, and once you're in, you're gonna fill in more personal information. And then if you have friends that you uh, wanna connect with on MyFitnessPal, you can do that here. If I go back to the keto calculator, okay, and now I go to the bottom, you see that second one that says my goals. Now, if you click on that, it's gonna take you into MyFitnessPal into there. And you can see that when you first come in, you know, MyFitnessPal thinks of I suppose the common diet in America. So carbohydrates are 50%, fat is 30%, protein is 20%. We all know that's not correct, all right? So you can go in here and edit that and change those to the appropriate settings for a ketogenic diet. So we'll hit the edit button and just simply change our values. So I'm gonna put in 2,500 calories. That's what I normally eat, somewhere between 2,000 to 2,500. Remember, we don't wanna be counting calories. That's not the point, right? It's ratios and how we feel. This diet is not based on a bank account where we're counting things. It's based on chemistry, where we're using cause and effect to figure out how we feel. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the food section and here in the food section, I've got a couple of things to look at. You can put in your what you've had for breakfast and lunch and dinner and your snacks. And as you can see at the bottom, um, my numbers are in green because I haven't gone over any of them today. And I still have some to some goals to reach. And, and I can also put in my water consumption. It's very handy. This is a super great free tool. Now, you can buy this product and open up some other um, helps. I don't know, when you first started, I recommend putting your money into butter, not into applications. So this is free part, use the free part. All right, so now I'm gonna add a product here. I'm gonna add eggs. And you can see there's a ton of already registered products that you can pick from. So I'm just gonna say one eggs, just so you can see what happens here. And I'll add it to the food. And when I do that, it shows me that in one egg, there are 70 calories. There's 5% fat, 6% protein, 70% sodium, and then you can see at the bottom, it starts subtracting from your numbers, right? I'm telling you, now you're living. Okay, so after that, you're gonna go to nutritional tracking. And in here, you can show some different values that you might wanna show on your front page. So here's the, the basic setup, but I can change that to, you know, maybe saturated fat, or I don't know what you wanna track. The, the baseline is good enough for me because I always want to watch my sugar intake, right? And you can change what you call your lunch, breakfast, and dinner if you call it something else. You can call it din-din, sup-sup, breakfast, whatever. So you can customize that as well. And then you can just, if you put in the wrong item, you can easily delete it. That's nice because you can make mistakes and there's a redo. So here's a Big Mac for you. All right, so I'm gonna put in that for my nutrition. I haven't eaten a Big Mac since I was like 12. 
Okay, so you can see in a Big Mac there's 550 calories. Oh, look at that, 46 carbs. But just know, you know, that's why having keto OS around is so important because even when you have a naughty day, you can know that you are burning fat um, for seven to eight hours. It's pretty neat. But I'm going to suggest don't ever go to McDonald's. Oh, got to have a Coke because we're at McDonald's, right? Traditional meal. People have been eating it since the 1950s. Holy smokes, 204 carbs. I wish I still had the sugar up here because you could see the amount of sugar now that has been eaten with this setup. Crazy. All right, so one function that would be super helpful if it was in here that's on the phone version. So if you have a smartphone, you get one other feature. But I'll show you. I made some screen captures, and I'll show you what it looks like here. All right, so this is my app on my phone. And as you can see, it's showing me how many carbohydrates, how many fats, and how many proteins in a simple pie graph. You can also see your nutrition intake, you know, like how much you ate for lunch, breakfast, dinner, how many total calories, and then also a breakdown of, you know, how much protein, how many carbohydrates, how much fat, and then you can see the breakdown of saturated poly and mono and some other things there. All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, oh yeah. The other thing you can do is do it by week. So you can see the, uh, how'd you do on your goals for the week for fat, protein, and carbohydrates. All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll see if I can help. Thanks.